Predaking 79 here with a Power Core Combiners review of Ice Pick and his uh, little companion, Minicon companion, uh, Chain Claw. Um, yeah, I, I said in my Leadfoot review uh, recently that um, that was probably the only Power Core Combiner I'd pick up, but actually, I really, really enjoy the figure. He's very playable, he's got a lot of uh, play value, um, and he's been set by my desk for the last couple of weeks, and I thought, sorry, I'm going to pick up another one. So I picked up this guy, and uh, yeah, he's he's cool. He is cool. Um, vehicle mode is this kind of crazy sort of um, snowmobile thing, um, which is a bit unusual. Um, and hey, unusual is good. Um, Feature-wise, it doesn't really do much, but um, you've got a little sort of pile thing on the front that you can uh, move in and out if you like. Um, it's got the obligatory power core combiner blue box blocks on the back, but um, they're not too obtrusive um, on this on this chap. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. Um, Minicon uh, chain claw um, basically transforms into a uh, kind of rocket launcher thing, um, like so, and uh, he can sit in. Uh, just pop onto the top in vehicle mode like that, um, which I think looks quite nice, really. Um, yeah, that's that's vehicle mode. Um, if we take uh, chain claw off, I'll transform um, ice quick quickly. It's pretty easy to transform. Like um, camera a little bit. We didn't want uh, some fruit and veg in the background, do we? Um, yeah, like um, all the power combiners that I've seen, um, they do seem to be quite easy to transform, which which is nice. It increases, you know, it adds to the play value. You could just never spend, you know, 10, 15 minutes fiddling with it, like um, some uh, recent figures, <coughs> Fans Project uh, Warbot Defender. I'm talking to you. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and transform. Him. So this just pops down on the back. The legs pop down like so. And that just folds around, and there, just spin the legs around, pop the feet out, and uh, separate the arms like that. And there we go. And that is uh, basically robot mode. Um, a few things you can fiddle about with in robot mode, and um, the TV connectors. Can move down, so it kind of looks like he's uh, got a sort of a jetpack thing going on, which looks okay. Um, if you want to have more, uh, oops, it's not popping in properly. If you want to have a bit more um, boastability with the legs, you can pop these bits up and uh, allow you to move the legs around a bit. So it's got nice uh, all joints on the legs. The arms are kind of. Uh, bit crazy um, with the big hands but uh, you know you can move those around and the elbows and the hands as well so there is uh, possibilities to have him in all sorts of uh, positions really um, the minicon uh, chain claw is supposed to just pop on the top like so so you have him as a shoulder motor rocket launcher that looks a little bit lopsided but um, that's how, it, how he's uh, supposed to go in the instructions um, but you can also if you position the hands um, in a certain way you can have him sat sat in the hands like that as a sort of hand mounted um, which looks a bit better it's not sat in place but it'll certainly stay in place if you, um, you don't want to display him like that, he looks quite nice like that. Um, he also has the minicon has a uh, an armor mode, which is um, which really isn't much of a mode. It's just that, and that sits in the front like so. I think uh, as far as I'm aware, all the uh, all the two pack sets um, have this sort of armor mode. Um, have it like that but uh, to be honest that looks a bit crap <laughs> so just keep him as a keep him as a gun but uh, 
Yeah. No, he is. He, I like him. I like him a lot. Um, let's move this guy out of the way. Um, there's one nice little thing I figured out with this guy as well. Um, the pen, the uh, peg on the back is a six millimeter um, peg, which is the hand pegs for most of the G1 figures. So if you want to use him as a target master for G1, you can do. Um, obviously, though, his legs are the wrong way around for that. So if you want to do that, you can just pop his legs round. Pop them back in place, and um, and just do this like so. Just clip his hands back in. There we go, and then um, that can be a. Uh, a gun that a G, uh, G1 Tucker Master can use, um, which is which is kind of nice. Um, I said in my left foot review that uh, um, Pinpointer uh, or Pinpoint rather was um, was was compatible with the Tucker Master, so you know this guy is too, um, which I think is pretty cool. Um, he doesn't look, you know, uh, doesn't look out of place really. Is the Tucker Master? Obviously, his legs look a bit daft that way around, so yeah, you'd have to change them around if you wanted to. But um, it's nice that. It is backwards compatible in that respect. So yeah, but anyway, um, I'm not going to do the torso mode because I haven't got any um, drones to the, at this point. Um, but that is uh, is ice pick and chain claw, and definitely worth picking up. See you next time. Bye.